Prime Minister Peter O'Neill arrived in Medang yesterday to sign the intergovernment agreement for New Ireland, East New Britain and Enga. When signing the agreement, the Prime Minister said everything they do must be within the framework of the national constitution. So since coming to government in 2011, our government is the only government that has been able to continuously fund both the provinces and the districts, despite some challenges in our growth and our economy. And that has enabled some visibility of the presence of government systems in our districts and our, and, and our provinces. And I think you will find that where provinces and districts where there is strong and stable leadership, the changes are happening. And of course, micromanagement from Waigane will never again resolve all our issues and challenges that we face in our country. Mr O'Neill said as provinces prepare and are ready, substantial powers can be transferred to them with matching funds to ensure they provide quality services to their provinces. The Prime Minister commended the three provinces for taking the initiative to prepare to take on more responsibilities through the performance-based greater autonomy. We want to continue to ensure that the progress that we have made over the past six or seven years is continued to be maintained. And we have, changed, we have seen some evidence of how great our country can be over the last five or six years. When we continuously are embarking on a change about making sure that several heavily populated provinces and heavily populated districts and heavily populated cities in our country continue to be built so that we can maximize the limited resources that we have in making sure that services are delivered. And when you look at our policies like tuition-free education, I know there are challenges. Uh, and of course, there will be challenges in the future when you look at the free healthcare program. In signing the agreement, the three provinces will start working with the national government to identify relevant areas for preparation for transfer of functions. After the signing, there will be a declaration in each province with the signing of the Service Delivery Partnership Agreements. These signings will take place on the respective provincial days. Our people live in the provinces and the districts. And our aim as government is to make sure that these funds and the support and the technical capacity is passed on to uh, those who are living in the provinces and working in the provinces. Helen Sayer, National MTV News.